Hi, this is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. And we are Alpha Quadrant 6. And if you don't know, the three of us are brothers. Many of our new listeners or new, new viewers may not know that. We uh, have another podcast, The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. But this is the show, Alpha Quadrant 6, where we review science fiction shows. And we've been reviewing the second season of Star Trek Discovery. We just watched episode 13, Such Sweet Sorrow. <laughs> the penultimate and episode. The penultimate episode, the second to last episode of season two. And the thrills continue. It was another great episode. The, you know, they're, they're, they're closing in on the final episode of the season, and it's getting pretty exciting. There's some, you know, you know, it's good to be at this point and be not quite sure what's going to happen next episode. I, you know? I really have no idea. This yeah. was what I call a prepper ep episode, yeah. right? They're preparing for something. And in, in these types of episodes, there's usually, mm -hmm. you know, the tension is super high. The stakes are high. You know, we know, especially that we know that the last yeah. you know, the last uh, episode of the season is coming. Um, but they they took they wrote it well, right? And I don't mean wrote R O T E. I mean wrote like the yeah. uh, the the actors did a fantastic job of mixing both in the intensity of having to do the work that they need to do, and also the emotional crap that goes along with all mm. of that. You could just see it pouring out of all of them. I really liked the little moments that we had with each yeah. character. Because we want great. them to develop those secondary characters some more. Yeah. 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 So, you know, the, the big thing that's happening here is that Michael Burnham is going to use, they're build, building another Red Angel suit so they could time travel into the future to send the Discovery into the future to keep it away from Leland, who is now controlled by Control, control. the AI, who's going to destroy all the sentient life in the galaxy. Well, Spock figured out that. It had to be Michael. Right? Yeah. Now this was a thing that we mentioned a couple of right. episodes where we were upset that it was her DNA biosignature, right? That, yeah. Uh, but then it turned out to be her mother. Yeah. But it actually was her. It was her. Yeah. Because yeah. in the second suit, which, so, which we didn't know about at the time. That was nice. That was nice that they did that. Um, also, she can't get back, so she's going to be stranded there. And then all her buddies are going to go with her. Well, and, that was uh, a good. But that, see, there was a time there was yeah. So Michael was going to go by herself and just strand herself there right. with the discovery because it was going to burn out the crystal, so they couldn't get what, back. What, like a thousand years in the future? Or something? Some, yeah. well, yeah, nine hundred and fifty years, whatever. Some long time in the future. And I'm thinking to myself, so is she going to leave the series now? Because you know, it's just. It's fine. I think that that's been a bold move. And I didn't know if Sonequa was like, we're done after two seasons. Who knows? Anything could happen. Or are they just going to take it all back? And then it seemed like, yeah, they're making a big production of Her Goodbyes. Yeah. And it would be kind of a cheesy head fake to go through that kind of production and then take it all back. I thought know? that too. You know, it's like a, there, there's a lot mm. of crocodile tears yeah. in TV, you know, where yeah. like you know, the lament of something that and you, you sit there and go, this is the bullshit. They're, yeah. they're, they're, all these people can't leave this show. You know, we don't really know. Again, do they have the balls to do it? Right. Now, but then, as Bob said, every, all the basically the primary cast is like, we're all going with you to the future. We're not so, coming so back. Right. So right. So now, like, okay, that shifts it. So it's like, she's not leaving the show. They're all going to the future. So that means season three could be 950 years in the future, which is kind of brilliant when you think about well, it. Well, that would be amazing. Whoa. That would be amazing. Because I didn't even think of that. First, yeah. of all, first of all, it's ballsy. It's ballsy. It's I a, love it. Yeah. It, it, and, you know, like, what are we missing, right? It makes sense that wow. the, this, the ship disappears. Right. And is gonzo. So it takes care of so many problems. Wow. Spore drive, gone, right? Yeah. The re reason why Spock never talks about Michael Burnham, because she's out in the future, whatever. Now, Spock is planning on going with them, so we know that's not going to work. Yeah, right. he's gonna, he's gonna, something's going to keep him in the present. Um, it, well, I know what it is. Yeah. It's the fact that, you know, Captain Pike and Spock have to have their... They, they have to have their own TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you understand what I'm saying? It right. all makes sense. If you, there's a change.org right. uh, petition. petition that you could go to <laughs> and sign to say, give Captain Pike his own TV show. Of course, Spock would have to be yeah. on that. He'd have to be on that show with him because he's, he is it's supposed right. to be second in command. Because he's Spock, right? Or, so he has to or take third in command. Future. Right. So the, look, it's all moving in this direction that I predicted yeah, but episodes let's, ago. Let's get back to Discovery, though, because then if they're in the future, it, it solves a lot of problems. It puts the cast on the Discovery who knows when and where. But is right? the ship crewed, though? And that's the thing. How many people are on that ship? It's just going to be like the dozen of them it or something. You can't run a ship of that size with a dozen people. That's just automate shit. 
Whatever, yeah. but the, 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 we'll, we'll have to see That's what it. they do. They're yeah. gonna have to figure. They're gonna have to recruit people or figure that or out. Make, I really think or, they're gonna do it. Or I make robots. They Maybe they'll make robots. And they got, as you said, they had those sweet scenes where they're all sending messages to their families and loved ones. It's an awfully big production. If it's That's not, if true. they're not gonna pull the trigger, yeah. They get, if they pull it all back, I'd be like, oh, you know, you had an opportunity to do something bold and you blew it. Plus, think about it. Would that put us in the most forward? Yes. Timeline of yes. any Star Trek. It would be new. It would be. It'd be new what territory. I've been waiting for, what I've been waiting for. You could introduce new aliens, new technology, all sorts of new the stuff. Starfleet that's now canon. exists a thousand outside years in the of the past. Yeah. We don't know that, anything that, that far. That's a lot of canon that's, for them to write. You that's know, a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a there's, big bite for them to take. There's been a, there's been appearances of uh, Federation starships, like uh, Enterprise J, for for example. That's but that's only like maybe a few four five centuries. Not, this is this not is nine more, or, or yeah. uh, hundreds, uh, mm -hmm. ten centuries. Um, so well, we don't know where they're the, going to end up. Well, I yeah, know we don't know. It'll be disappointing though for this concept to, to not happen now. That yeah, if it all just goes away, like what are they going to continue to do? It just seems so weird. You know what I mean? But it does mean no cameos from Pike, yeah. no cameos from our Section Thirty One buddies. That's fine. Show, but they have because their own show. they're going to give Pike his own his <laughs> own TV show, <laughs> his own TV show. Because obviously they have to. Why? It's a good question, yeah, Steve why? and Bob. I'll tell you why. One, because Anson Mount is playing one of the best captains any of yep. us have ever seen in the entire effing franchise. And he's got six, seven years before, before he's in the chair. Right. So we, have, good. we have and more years. Face melts. We have more yeah. years with him being a captain than, than, we, we, did. than we ever got with Captain Kirk. Yeah, it's true. Think about that. Yeah. They, they, you know, they, could, the, they, they could have six open. or seven years of in, you know, in the writer, you know, like... Actual in the universe years, not human years, but yeah. like, like that's huge. It's a huge amount of time. Like again, this is, this is a can, really good opportunity. We could say that months have only gone by in season two of Discovery. We yeah. keep talking about the timeline. I mean, it's like The Simpsons. You have an infinite amount of time with these yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that that said, what are they going to do? Just take two amazing characters that they've they've done a very good job of developing and just throw them away? And, all right, no, so, no, because we could see them in Section 31 series, right? We could see them again. We could see them in Discover, assuming they stay within in the 23rd century. Not so, so. so they're gonna, we're going to see them a couple, a couple, you know, here and there. They're not going permanently away, but a new series, of course, is ideal. They, they right? did develop the bridge of the Enterprise. We saw it. Yes. We saw the Wait, whole that's Enterprise. the elephant in that's this, lot, in this that's room. That's a lot to build. Guys, that set, I love that they set. They did a great job. We finally saw the, the bridge of the Enterprise. I know, that just cool. Not the to minimize it in any way. The bridge was wonderful. I mean, it, I, would, it I, I want to see more. I want to really see so hopefully, the consoles, more detail. Hopefully they did that because they're going to use it. Not just in a couple episodes at the end of this Discovery well, season. Well, all right, now, now let's be smart. They, they could have written it out. Let's they could have written out that bridge. They didn't need to show the bridge. Didn't absolutely. So, that's right. So that, that's, that's what I'm that's, saying. Right. So I'm thinking. Yeah, they could have just had them go into a transporter room. Like, you know, yeah. that was a big, you know, it's expensive. Now, honestly, we don't know how much of it was digital mm -hmm. and how much Doesn't of it was matter. practical. Still, it's, it's, just, all, it's all expense. Um, a, you know, a few, a few other things that are making me think that you might be right, Steve. Yeah. Um, first of all, Discovery is a, a, a uh, like a sore in the Star yeah. Trek universe, right? Because it doesn't make a lot of sense. We never heard about it. There has to be a legitimate reason why Spock never mentions his sister. Yeah. And I'm sure they were trying to retcon that. This is really a great theory that you have. It just solves everything. Yeah, that they could they were going to stay It'll in be the future. Exciting. I mean, It'll it would stay be in the exciting. future. It would be really cool. It would be like a brand new adventure. Like, yes. Oh man, that what's not good about yeah. it? If they, How did that not leak? If they, you know powered out of doing that, that would be a, such a lost opportunity. Yep. You know? Exactly. Just like the fact that Anson Mount has to have his own TV, look, as as Captain Pike. As Captain Pike. Yeah, he would be Captain oh, Pike. as Captain yes. Pike. Oh. And while they're at it, they might right. as well have the guy that plays Spock be Spock on that show, too. Right. It so all when makes sense. We were talking, like, when do McCoy and Scotty and the others, when do they join the crew? I think the they, they, well, I bet Although you... I'm liking no, number there's a changing one. Of I the like guard. number one. Think about it. Yeah. Think about what happens. Like, I bet you that this is what this is something that... that yeah, yeah. Like, the Enterprise might get damaged. Right. Like, like Pike... Well, we, we know the Enterprise gets damaged now. I think we do. Because Pike gets mortally... Not mortally, but almost mortally wounded, right? When? He gets... You know, Pike's future. His, his, oh, yeah, yeah. His so. destiny. That's probably on the Enterprise. Yeah. So that's probably when no, they... No, it's not on the Enterprise. Are you sure? Yeah. It happened yeah, we're, when we're, Spock and Kirk were on the Enterprise. And that's why Kirk... You know, Spock had to go get him and bring him to Talos IV. So, yeah, so he doesn't get injured on the Enterprise. Okay, but 
Even still, like when they when he leaves, that what Starfleet would do is they would assign a new captain, yeah. and that captain is would possible, bring on a crew, would bring crew. on his new crew yeah. or accept it, you know new crew. It, right. You know, it, it's that and that is something we just talked about earlier tonight. I want to see that. I would I wouldn't mind somebody else playing Captain Kirk. Showing us the beginnings of mm -hmm. what you know their five year mission. The, that would be the transition amazing. from Pike to Christ. It's all there. CBS doesn't. Do they not know it? They all have it right there in front of them. Right. I'm really enjoying Discovery this season. By the way, it's a great. Yeah. The, the last few episodes have been yeah, fantastic. This they're episode was fantastic. But holy shit, they literally pitched the ball up that they would be insane not to not yeah. to slam for a home I run. I agree. Don't so, get your hopes up, man. That's that's Bob, too that's too bold. My hopes are up. They've got to do this. <laughs> Are you listening, CBS? All right, so um, to finish off this episode, though. Captain. It ends. Pike on the bridge of the end. Let, yeah. me, let me just say this. Yeah. Just imagine if you will. <laughs> the, the people at CBS, this is what they have to be doing. Holy shit, we're getting such an awesome response. We're like, they really love this guy. Right. Anson Mount did a really good job. Damn. We really cast Spock really well. What the hell are we going to do? Like, maybe we should have a TV show. Huh. Yes, of course. Of course they're going to do it. Why wouldn't they? They've got know, more man. money than they know what to do with. they got a lot of they, irons they've in the fire already, They've got a rabid, already, a rabid audience. They've, um, got, they've got review shows. You yeah. know what I mean? I know, sometimes it does seem like, why don't they just give the audience what we actually want? Right. You know? This is what we want. We stop you're screwing around with these other things. Exactly. Right. Um, but to finish our review okay, of this sorry. episode. I'm a little excited about I hear that. Captain Pike. I hear that. But... Um, <laughs> It, it ends on a cliffhanger. Leland and the control fleet arrive. They're just about to go to fight, and then the episode yeah. ends. So that's obviously where we're going to pick off at the fight, the season finale. You know what's cool? Do you think it's going to be the new captain. Yeah, so they didn't, pick a, they didn't pick a new captain. I think it's Saru. I do think it's Saru. I would Saru. be totally happy with Michael being the new captain. I mean, she would be I, awesome. I yeah, but I think Saru is the obvious choice. Too but soon for Tilly, I think, right? It's a little too soon yeah, for she's Tilly. Yeah, she didn't cook enough. I mean, they, they need more of a... Yeah, yeah. She needs a few more years of an arc. Or is there, is there some way they'd bring in somebody else? I don't know. But they didn't pick a captain for the discovery in the future if that's what's right. going to happen. Yeah. How about a clone of... Pike. <laughs> no, but Pike, a, a transporter okay. clone, a transporter no, but, clone of Pike. He's got to be. He's got to be on the bridge of the Enterprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's been cloned. He could be in both. Did George O. diss the Enterprise? Works. Did I hear her? Did, yeah, she did, yeah, she, she did. did. Okay, yeah. she's like orange. Yeah, she's get like. Get out of here! Get out of here! You know what I liked? The entryway to the bridge yes. had a hallway. A hallway. And I wasn't sure if there was a, like right, a, like a sub. Way mm. to walk like behind the consoles or something. Yeah, that, how that's, deep does it go? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's that where the cool. bathroom might be. The bathroom yeah. might be in there. Yeah, right, right. Because you, know. you got to have bathrooms on the, on the ship. The space urinal, you know. Right. The zero uh, G toilet. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm piling hope upon hope into this. This. First off, your theory. I you, love that theory. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think a lot of people are going to be talking about that concept. It's pretty obvious. It's, but it, it is pretty obvious. They're doing it. They're saying they're doing yeah, it. Yeah, but it's are they going to actually pull the trigger? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. And I just got the vibe I was getting was they better do. Yeah, they this. really yeah. went to the nth degree with they, that saying goodbye. Yeah. So I'm not sure they would have made such a production out of it if they. But it makes it realistic, and it makes us wonder what's going to happen more. Like it, it actually has us doubting that they're going to come back. That they're going to oh, come man. back. I, it's uh, epically provocative. It's, uh, it's very good writing. Like the, this is what they shouldn't come back. They should stay in the future. The 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 last half of this season has been exactly what. Star Trek should yeah. be today. They they they're hitting it. They're doing yeah. it. No, when come on, when the rest of the cast, the primary cast, those characters said we're joining you, Michael, in the to in the discovery. I'm like, that's it. They're going to the future. Yeah. The whole the, all, you know everyone that you want on the TV show is going to be going there with them. Yeah, but the reason why we we typically don't believe those types of tells is because of how much of a game changer. Like how yes. TV shows typically don't do that. Like Game of Thrones does that. Yeah. Star Trek. Plays everything safe. You know, it's always been a safe TV show. You know, people usually don't die. Everything is kind of like back to normal at the next episode. You yes, know? but this is different because yeah. this is not that every episode you end up back to where you were at the but, beginning. But I mean, they'd have to make lots of big decisions if you're going that. If you're going centuries yeah, deep into to to the future, right? That's that's intimidating, and I, it makes me think they're not going to want to do that because think about what you have to decide. Where's the Federation going to be in a mille, in a millennium? Yeah. That's that's huge. Somebody's got to write huge. it. That's huge. I think they may try to incorporate it, incorporate like an alternate timeline where it's it's safer. They could do they could do a lot of different. They better things. not Kelvin this man. They better not do that. 
I am tired of alternate timelines. No, yeah, I agree. If you're going to do it, put yeah, have the balls it. to do it. Do it. But the other thing is, it's a big, big galaxy out there, a big universe, and they may not, whatever, they may be borked to the point where they can't really, they may not be able to communicate with Starfleet on the frequency or whatever. So they may be just, you know, searching for whatever for a while. We may only see a tiny slice of that future for a whole season. Yep. They're going to be discovering what is going on in the future. Where is the Federation? Where is everybody? What's, right. you know, reconnecting with it. It could take a lot of and time. And they do have the right ship for this type of mission, if you think right. about it, because they could, you know, I know that they're not supposed to use the spore drive a lot, but if they need it, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they have the pilot, you know, the pilot of the spore drive is going yes. with them. That's another key factor. Oh, right. Steve. I think it's going to happen. Yeah. Man. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I didn't doubt it. From, as I'm soon as everyone joined them, I'm like, that's yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm a little skeptical, though, that, that, that they're going to be that ballsy and do, it. do an entire right, season. So we, maybe they'll, maybe they'll, just, they'll, they'll do it. I think that's it. That's not just an entire season. That's the rest of the series is going to be picking sure. up at that point. Yeah, but the, the other option is that they, they, like when they went to the Mirror Universe, Three or four episode deal, then they're back. That's another. Oh, yeah, that's what we were just that's another. We already option. covered this. We were saying that because of this heavy-handed goodbye and all that, like we spent quite a bit of time yeah. dealing with the, the emotions of all that. Agreed, but I think that's still something that they. Uh, would, you're they, right. You're right. No, Bob, I'm not saying they, they would or would. We don't. We're guessing on everything. Um, so we have a cool announcement. Mm -hmm. We do because well we, we something that we talked about last night yep. on our other podcast. That's right. So something pretty amazing has happened. This ah, is some yes. of the behind the scenes stuff. So we have a friend uh, named David Tremont that works at Weta in uh, in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And you know those are the special effects guys who make practical effects for things like Lord of the Rings and, you know? and digital effects and and, effects. and everything. In they between. do it. Yeah, they've They're done amazing, more movies than you even work. know. Um, so David is a listener of our podcast and he watches this show. And he has decided that he is going to build a custom Star Trek phaser rifle that is supposed to fit somewhere in mm -hmm. the original series uh, universe, mm -hmm. right? So Captain Kirk, you know, plus or, plus or minus, you know, five years or whatever, it's in there. So now, you know, the, the other phaser rifle that we, we, we've had on this set previously, it's the one that Captain Kirk used in a couple episodes. Phaser Type 3, yeah. where no man has gone before, the but, pilot would yeah. chat. So what our goal was, and he's allowing, the, the, the great part of this is we're helping design it. So we came up with the original concept uh, layout, pretty much. Yeah. You know, we, we sent him like a, a yeah. you know, So a, we're a designing together this phaser rifle, and then he's going to build it. He's going to build like a movie quality, real, you yeah. know, not a piece of plastic. This is going to be an incredible yeah, like prop. A, yeah. and, that, and that we Heavy will have metal. on this set. We yeah. will have it on this well, so, set. Yeah, well, so we're going to document the whole process yeah. of, de of designing and building and creating this prop. And you will, you will be seeing that. You will be seeing it on this set when it's all done. And, you know. No, I think it's time we could say it. There's, you know, the, the amazing thing <laughs> is that he is going to make another one. Well, he's going to make several. Yeah, he's going to make several. But one of them will be in one way or another it'll be something that a, a viewer of this show or a listener of our podcast could actually win right could actually win for free yes yeah it could be you know that you could consider this like a ten thousand dollar prop that's yeah. that's you know that's, what I mean? yeah. that's, how, you, that's you, how professional it is so we're going to let it you know this is all taking shape we really we know what the end game here is but we're going to roll it out when we're ready but that is what we're willing to say today mm -hmm. we're super excited um, I don't know, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure out how to get it in a permanent position on this on this our, our set, set somewhere. Oh. Um, so listen, <laughs> again, we're Alpha Quadrant Six. You can go to alphaquadrant6.com to see anything and everything about us, and we will be uh, now Thursday of next week. Yeah. So next week is the last episode of the season, so we're gonna do a longer show. We're gonna, we're gonna obviously review that episode, but then we're gonna do a season recap. Right. And then as much as we can, we're gonna be looking forward to season three. See you guys next week. Yeah.